Hey everybody, long time no see. Um, been meaning to do a review on an Angel Sig product. Um, they sent me a Panzer clone, Black Hawk. There's no etching on this. This is the black version. They have a um, stainless steel version, I guess it would be. Um, I don't have the info up. Uh, I want to say they run around thirty, thirty-two ninety-nine, maybe thirty-six somewhere in there. The stainless steel, I think, is a little bit more than the black. Might be vice versa. Not sure. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and jump into this review. Like I said, they sent me this to do a review on, and. I've had it for about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. They send me a lot of good good quality clones. I mean, I'm not going to lie. These things are phenomenal. I got a Stingray from them. Anybody looking for a clone, jump on over to angelsigs.com. You won't, you won't be sorry. Uh, a lot of their products you can't get shipped from the, the U.S. warehouse they have. I think it's in California. Um, it's two to seven business days on that, or two to four, sorry, two to four business days. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Go ahead and take this Nimbus clone off of here. We'll go ahead and disassemble everything. All right, now that we have it uh, disassembled, we'll go ahead and start with the close-ups on the 510 connection top piece. I wish this camera would... Oh, there we go. Nice. As you can see, I mean, it's got some nice detail in there. Um, it has the nice panzer. See if I can get that in there. There we go. It has the nice panzer etching up there by MCV Philippines. I'll go ahead and flip it over. This uh, pin is adjustable. And they are copper pins. The main thing that I did not like about this product, I mean, this is the only thing, should I say, is that you have to adjust this pin pretty far out using an 18650. I haven't run it in 350 mode yet. I don't have any high-powered 350s. I'm a sub-ohm type of guy. But, um, yeah, you have to have it way far out. I like, you know, I like it to sit about like that. I mean, that wouldn't bother me. But this is just, you know, that's just way far. I think it was about right there. All right, we'll go ahead and jump to the firing button. As you can see, it has the... Some kind of guy in a gas mask or something there. But uh has the uh, random fake serial, 3213. Same thing here. It is a copper contact. As you can see, the throw on it is it's minimal there. Boom. I mean, it's, it's boom. But um, it has the lock, spins out. And your firing switch is now locked. It's a good feature on all mods. <laughs> um, we can go ahead and take the button apart. I'll go ahead and show you that. It's pretty simple. I will let you know when I take it apart that I did stretch out the spring that's in here. Just to give it more tension. When I got it, it was kind of, you know, a weaky push when you pushed it it just wanted to push really really easy I like uh, I like when I push on the fire button for there to be some tension on the spring but um there's the spring hard to see just a little spring your firing button itself with the threads which is where this goes it is the contact pin for the negative and then you have the button itself, the housing. Go ahead and unthread that. 
That is the black locking ring. And this is the brass or copper. I believe it is copper. This might be made out of copper also. I know the pins are copper. But um, this is the housing with the insulator, black insulator there. Go ahead and reassemble this back together. Now we will move on to the first ring, extension ring. Has some nice etching, just lines around it. Wish I could get this to zoom in for you guys. There we go. Threads are beautiful in there. They are nice and smooth, no burrs. Um, nice and clean on the inside of the tubing. I've seen a lot of clones from other companies and other websites that um, the inside of their tubing is, you know, just dirty inside where they didn't polish it out. But as you can see, they polished it nice and good in here. Um, and I would like to know where Angel Sigs gets all their clones from, who makes them, the manufacturer. They're just, they're, they're spot on. They're one to one to me. But um, this is the second ring here. Nice uh, kind of crown detail at the top. And then your main housing tube right here. This is where Black Hawk would be on one of these flat spots. But as you can see right down here, you have uh, four holes, I believe it is. One, one, two, three, four. Yes, four. Um... Now the black finish, as you can see, I have a scratch, a little nick right there in the black finish. I don't know exactly how it happened. I know I haven't dropped it. It could be from, uh, I put it in my pocket a few times, and I know that the uh, cap come off of the atomizer, the dripper, and that could have scratched it. But, um... Other than that, the, the, the coating on here, I guess it's it's pretty good, I guess. I mean, you can feel it is a little little grippy to me. And, and when it when finishes are grippy, that kind of suggests that um, they are prone to scratches. But um, once it gets scuffed up or scratched enough, I'll go ahead and polish all this black paint off of here and then rock the stainless steel one. But let's go ahead and put it back together alright so now you have your first extension you have the main body second extension goes down here now depending if you want your vent holes to up top by the 510 connection or down by the firing button I usually put them down by the firing button so we will go ahead and put the firing button down here and like I said I mean the threads are nice and smooth have a 18650 Sony and I believe this is a VTC5 um, as you can see 4.1 volts fully charged this atomizer here is a dual coil setup um, it's a uh, some nano coils this atomizer comes out to about 0 0.26, 0 0.25. So 4.1. Let's see. I'll get back to what I was saying a minute ago. Um, that pin needs to be adjusted more out to get rid of the battery rattle. But you see how far it already is. I'll back it off three turns. See what we get. Still have some battery rattle. Give it one nice turn. And now we're good to go. Okay. So what I was saying. This atomizer is a 0 0.25, 0 0.26. With a 4.1, we'll just give it the common, we'll say 4.0 volt battery. 0.2 ohm coil. Mm, looking at what uh, over what 40 watts 
over 50 watts. And as you can see, it puts out some vapor. Normally, I am vaping boosted, waiting on my vape mail to arrive. This is juiced vapor. It is vanilla custard. It's okay. It holds me over while I wait for the boosted. We will go ahead and unlock this device. And Now, made my nose itch. I mean, this is a hard-hitting clone here. With the copper contacts in it, fully charged battery, 0.2 ohm coil. If I had the boosted, it'd be uh, so much huger cloud. And I'm not cracking or knocking on Juice Vapor's juice. Just Corey Veal puts... I believe it's a little higher and more quality uh, VG in there. Um, but that was on a Nimbus clone, 0.2 ohm coil. Man, made my nose tingly. 0.2 ohm coil on the Nimbus. So now we are going to use the IGO. Actually, it's an AGI in drip mode. You can run it in tank mode. I got a single parallel coil. Um... I believe it's 26 gauge parallel. Comes into 0.5. Well, I keep locking it. Still getting used to the locking button. I'm so used to my stingray. There we go. I mean, but look at that. That's some power and just some heavy hitting there. Saturate that wick. We'll get one good pull and. We will wrap this review up. Mm. And another thing, this is really harsh on my throat. This is a 1.8 nicotine, or uh, no, 1.6 nicotine level on that oh and I'm used to boosted I rock my boosted at a six ah oh, the water one more good pull hmm the uh, Panzer Blackhawk clone angel sigs this thing is awesome it's a little hefty. I don't mind that though. It, it lets me know it's there. I don't like holding a little chintzy mod. Um, but uh, anybody in the market for a clone, good quality, great prices, free shipping. Most of their stuff comes from a U.S. warehouse too. Um, Angelsigs.com. Hit them up. You won't be sorry. Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for more reviews.